Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Anya and today we're at the prop room getting ready for another episode of The Frag Files. Today we're going to feature Chalice. So we've been hoarding a number of really cool pieces of chalice here in our Zoa pond. I'm not a really big advocate of fragging chalice. Uh, we are frequently getting some really amazing wild pieces of chalice and sometimes it can be less about the colour of the chalice and more about that beautiful shape. However, when they come in this amazing, there's just something that happened within me that just forced me to keep a couple aside and put them into propagation. So, we're gonna do this amazing rainbow, and I'll show you close up, and this amazing orange speckled green, and possibly even this one, because I think it's also a rainbow. So I'll pop it in a bucket, and we'll talk about the tools that we're gonna need today. So fragging chalice is relatively easy, but let's just take a quick look at the instruments we're gonna need for today's session. So we've got some stainless steel coral snips. We've got a range available just in case I can't get through some of the thicker skeletons. There's some stainless steel disposable scalpels, and we're gonna just use that to cut the tissue so we prevent tearing. Uh, turkey baster so we can pour water over the frags once we're done, some soaking ceramic frag plugs in two different shapes, we've got the reef dip Seachem iodine, uh, iodine based dip which prevents against infection and heals cuts and tissue, uh, our favourite coral glue the CG by Ecotech, two buckets for the dip and the dip bath and a towel. So let's get fragging. So because it is so easy to frag so corals like chalice, we're gonna keep it a bit interesting by doing two different sets of frags. Chalice frags with the eye or the mouth and chalice frags that only consist of base tissue. I think it'll be really fascinating to find out down the track how these are gonna grow and how viable they are long term. So we'll probably cover that in the next episode of Frag Files, so stay tuned. First up, I'm gonna start with this beautiful gold accent chalice. It's nice and thin, so it shouldn't present to be too challenging. Now, something really interesting as a cut, I'm just gonna chat. Something really interesting about chalice is that the term chalice actually covers four separate genus of coral. We've got Mycetium, which I believe is this one, Echinopora, Echinophilia, and Oxypora. So, oh, the skeleton of chalice is quite brittle, and so it does actually, once it hits the frag tile, you will find its growth to be fairly fast but it's just that challenge of getting it down there and see in areas here where I've cracked the skeleton and not the tissue it may be wise to use that stainless steel scalpel there I don't mean to sound a bit blasé but I'm fairly certain it's going to be just fine so now I've just loosely done some frags of the eye or what is truly actually the mouth just for some reason in terminology they call it the eye when they're describing colors they'll usually be like you know red chalice with the yellow eye so i'll start to categorize the different pieces there oh and because i don't use power tools I don't get as precise uh, a cut and to be honest I don't really mind though it it is lovely to see when frags are made all evenly and nice like that um, 
but I'm okay with it either way. Oh, this is a... I'm just going to clean up the base a little bit. Yeah. So we've got five. Probably just need a bit more of that tissue. And this piece was so nice when it first came in. Um, we kept it available for sale for about a month. And I kept saying every week, oh, if it doesn't move, I definitely need to propagate that one. If it doesn't move, and lo and behold, there were two pieces of this variant. One sold, and one didn't. So there we go. And I'll just leave a large bit as uh, to maintain as our mother colony. I'll probably put that on a bigger tile later on. This piece is super special. I also believe this one is a mycenium. Um, on a macro shot, it just has so many amazing colors that we have got a, a list of people. Woo, there we go. A list of people interested in getting this one. Um, so I'm just gonna make a couple frags, avoiding There we go. Oh. There we go. Hopefully we get a couple examples of, yep, face, mouth. And so the theory kind of stands that you need to frag a mouth of the chalice for the frag to be viable, but I am fairly certain that if you're growing out in the right conditions it's not going to actually matter so I really love the CG coral glue made by Ecotech because it has got such a gel consistency though for coral like chalice you could possibly get away with something runnier it's just our favorite so of course number one choice I'm gonna put the chalice with the mouths on the round plugs and so I guess I'll talk about what I expect to occur and that is that the chalice with the mouths is probably going to gr going to grow a little bit faster I'm just gonna clean up the base here. Yeah, a bit flatter. Because the sheer function of the mouth on a coral colony, the polyp, is to be able to capture food particles and utilize that energy to be able to grow. So, of course, the base tissue in between each polyp is also photosynthetic. Therefore, it's capable of generating its own energy also. So, my theory is that they're both going to be completely viable. There's probably going to be a little bit faster growth on the pieces with the mouths. And the new tissue, the new skeleton that's going to grow from the base pieces is going to formulate a mouth of its own with time so that it can sort of supplement photosynthetic capacity to generate its own energy. Last but not least, I'm just going to use this baster to get some water over the top. Help set the glue. And the main function of this is, is to prevent the glue from rising up to cover the coral tissue when I plunge it into the coral dip. Um, with some corals, it can make be the difference between a successful frag and one that doesn't make it. So. 
it's one extra step that is well worth it. Now we just need to dip it. So as you can see, chalice fragging is really easy. I can't wait to find out the results of what was more viable, frags with a mouth or frags made out of base tissue. All that's left now is for me to put them back in the system and cook them up a little bit. Thank you for joining me on Gallery Aquatica TV today. I'm Anya and happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.